I've seen a series of the earthquakes pointing sharp like a laser beam under the Thorbjorn. This is the latest data that we have, geophysical data from the earthquakes at a depth of 6 to 5 kilometers. That's a depth of the Sorsengi Reservoir, Magma Reservoir. We can see the concentration of them under the Thorbjorn in that uh, rectangle. And they're just coming to the right you can see that they're starting on the view of the cameras this is a busy camera we can see that uh, there is plenty of work going on we can see the effect of this machinery working in the depth of the night uh, on the tremor charts which has nothing to do with what we saw at the depth of six to five kilometers the exceptionally dark night is also worrying because we are now in the summer in the northern hemisphere and in the latitude of the Iceland, we have practically white nights. And there is nothing like that tonight. I will keep awake and watching the situation. Something is going to happen. I have a video about what we may expect to see. How we know the eruption has started. This is the Reykjanes Peninsula and this is the Swartzengi volcanic system that we are talking about. You see a cluster of the earthquakes appearing concentrated in a certain area in this case near the Sorsengi uh, volcanic system. Before that you see just waves of the earthquakes appearing on the chart, then a huge cluster and they're intense very close up to magnitude uh, 3 in the Richter scale. You see the wave coming, the tremors and the, on the chart you see them sudden rise in the tremors. That was uh, December 23, this is the January and this is the February eruption, as you can see. We have a high rise, sudden rise in the tremors, which shows the eruption has started. This is the moment that the earthquake suddenly increased. This is breaking through the surface, cracking the rocks, pulverizing them, making way for the magma to erupt. And the moment that it happens, the pressure is relieved you will see the gases volatilized inside the magma actually coming to the surface, pushing the magma upward, creating lava. You see at the depth bubbles rising. This is the crushing moment that happens. Then what happens is that the uh, magma reaches the surface area with the lowest pressure and a bang. monitor the situation by looking at the MBL Iceland and the RUV Iceland uh, live on the camera and just see how it happens in real time. I recommend that you, you do that. Of course, you could say that you don't need any of this geophysics. You can just look at the cameras and you will see it.